Hello everyone and welcome to another e-learning how-to guide. In this guide I'll be covering how to use Land School to control the student computers in an IT room. Now there are a lot of features on Land School but I will just be covering the essentials. Um, when in any IT room the laptop connected to the smart board will always have the Land School software installed. Okay, so um, you can open that software by clicking on the arrow in the taskbar followed by this icon here and that will open the teacher's console. Now it will most likely open in this view which will show you the users logged in and not logged in. Um, you can then click view all to change the view to show the students screens. Okay. Um, now from this screen you can select certain users which is shown as a red border. You can deselect these users by clicking on them again. You can press control A to select everyone and so on. Now any um, features you use will affect the users that are selected. If no one is selected it will affect everyone. If they are all selected obviously it will affect them all too. Now the first feature I'm going to talk about is web filtering. Now this needs to be configured before it is used. Um, and that um, configuration is only going to be made on that account on the particular laptop or PC you are using. So if you go into another IT room you will need to do this again but I can assure you it doesn't take long. Now as you can see here you can see block all websites, allow only the following websites or block the following websites. So you could block everything except what you wanted or you could just block certain websites which is what I'm going to do here. Now I want to block Facebook so I'm going to type in asterisk Facebook asterisk. Now what those asterisks do is it's what's called a wildcard. Now it means any variation of that website will be blocked, anything containing Facebook. So Facebook.com, Facebook.net, etc. So I want to block Facebook. Now clicking limit web without having made any configurations will block absolutely everything. So I don't suggest that is done. But yeah, now I've made those changes, I can click limit web and as you can see by the icons here, their web is limited to the configuration configurations that I made. Now generally to configure any feature in Land School it is through this arrow to the right and then configure. Also you can only limit the web for certain users obviously if they are selected and the others are not. The next feature I'm going to talk about is blanking the screen. Now um, this is done well when um, students are being distracted and you just need to get them to face the front of the classroom. Um, so this is simply done by just pressing the blank screen button and that as you can see blanks everybody's screen. Now I'll show you how quickly this happens in real time. Okay so it is very fast and like you configured the limit web option you can configure the blank screen option to show a custom message. The default is eyes to the front of the classroom please. Now other features are you can show the teachers screen on the um, students computers. Now this is done by um, clicking on show right here. And as you can see, everyone now has my screen. So let's get Land School back up. And um, you can also show students. If you select a student, you can click show student, and everyone will see that student screen. To turn those showing off, just click the button again. Now, another thing you can do is you can select users and then click shut down and either log off or restart or shut down their computers or even turn them on. Now, if you're going to do this, it is useful for en the end of a class, but make sure all the students are done with what they're doing. Um, also, some computers won't be turned on if you use the power on feature and will need to be turned on manually. Another thing you can do is you can have the students vote on Land School, so you can click vote type your question in here whether it's true or false or a multiple choice question have the correct answers you can save and load these questions and you can press send to actually send it out and then you will see the results in real time which is a nice feature um, 
and even when you close Latin School, as you can see, it is opened in the background and accessed the same way as before.